Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're starting a series and I'm really, really, really excited to share this one with you. These are my color comps for this first piece and I'm going with this cooler composition color palette thing. While I'm putting masking fluid on for this piece, I want to talk to you a little bit about my plans for this series. So it's called A Painting a Day. And the plan is to do one painting slash illustration slash piece every day, which sounds pretty simple and straightforward, but my goal is to tackle a lot of the little projects that I've kind of always wanted to do and never made myself do. So this first one was originally intended to be a revisit of a piece from, or a piece, a sketch really, from uh, my very first sketchbook a little over a year ago. Um, and it ended up evolving into something different and something unexpected. It went from being fire themed to being water themed and that just happened as I was working out the sketch. But over the course of the month of November, I'm hoping to tackle a lot of little things that I've always wanted to do. So things like drawing animals and composing a comic book page and working with gouache and things like that. I'm just planning to tackle some individual projects, one a day, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be uploading every day. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. I am going to be recording all of these videos and probably recording or uploading more often than once a week for the duration of this project. So I'm really excited to jump into some of these projects. I already have sketches planned out for the first seven days or so. I'm also not really going to be drawing on the weekends, so I plan to leave the weekends open so I don't overwork myself or get too stressed out about trying to do something every single day, and I'll have time to stop and spend with my family and uh, just relax a bit more and kind of recalibrate for the next week. But yeah, there are a lot of really exciting things coming during the month of November, so let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I should tackle, or if you'd like to join in, let me know and let me know things that you've kind of always wanted to do with your art, but you've never kind of stopped yourself to make time for those things. I feel like that happens all too often, especially in the days of the internet. It's so easy to get caught up in monthly challenges or ideas from other people or trying to make specific post-worthy art that it's hard sometimes to do the projects that you have always wanted to do and the things that if there were no Instagram or God forbid if there were no internet, things that you would just draw just because you wanted to. So those are the kinds of things that I'm hoping to do this month to share with you and then hopefully have a nice set of illustrations at the end of the month. So we'll see. As far as this piece in particular goes, I was really liking it in the beginning. Of course, I love the sketch. I keep sketching in orange, or vermilion rather, is what I want to be sketching in. This is orange because my vermilion pencil is finally kind of kicking the bucket and there's only a tiny bit of it left. But I've been sketching in orange, all my sketches for like the next week, and I love sketching in orange, but it's kind of hard to work with if you are not painting in similar or complementary colors. So this is literally a complementary example, but it doesn't really go very well with the rest of the piece, but I just love sketching in orange, so I don't really regret my decision. <laughs> but in the future, I'm sure, or hopeful, or maybe not, who knows, that they'll the sketch lines will be covered up more adequately. We'll see. Yeah, that was one thing that I wasn't super happy with about this piece was the amount of orange that was showing. Also, I just feel like I kind of quit early on this piece. I got to a point where I was just kind of tired of working on it and I could have done a lot more with it and could have pushed it a lot further and I didn't. But there are some things like in the hair where I was kind of going for this like breaking waves effect. There are some colors like this one right here that I really like a lot. So some of that worked out really well. And some of the things about her figure itself I really like in the shading, but overall the background and the environment of the piece I'm not a huge fan of, which kind of makes sense because they're not really things that I spend a lot of time working to improve. As far as my skill set goes, I don't really do a lot of 
environments or backgrounds and I wanted to kind of keep it simple for this piece and I hoped that that would work out and it's okay. I could have definitely done a lot better but I did a thing and that's the plan this month is to do things every day. And I wish I could tell you guys more about some of the other things I have planned later in the month because they're, I'm excited, it's gonna be fun. And uh, this is about the point where this piece kind of started to not be a thing I liked as much anymore. I feel like the outer edges just got kind of dirty looking because the washes weren't... I don't know. I don't know what I was doing with the colors. Anyway, I kept, ended up, I kept ending up going back to the hair, which I do like how the hair turned out. I was pretty happy with that overall. And it makes sense because that's the area where I kind of took my time the most and worked to add the most contrast and I ultimately even ended up adding some more yellow into some sections of the hair. I guess it's, what color is that? Quinacridone gold, that's what it is. Just to get some nice glow in the hair. And then the background is just a, it's a mess. I'm also really tired today. I'm trying to do this thing where I actually wake up at a reasonable hour every day. That's a little bit hard, waking up early enough to like get stuff done before the day starts. Anyway, here's the fun part. Here's where the piece starts to not feel dirty and feel more intentionally dirty because I'm peeling off the masking fluid and we can see the white underneath. And I kind of hit a point where I didn't feel like I was going to be able to do much more with paint. So I went right into my fine liners and um, these are the high tech C pens in 0.25 so they're pretty fine and I enjoy using them for smaller details and I feel like these little details is kind of where the stylizing comes in and it's where the individual mark making and line making shows a bit more and that's really fun. So I tried to use this to kind of redefine some shapes and bring some style back into everything. And there it is! We did it! And I know I rambled a lot in this video, but man, am I tired. Oh my goodness, what a great way to start the month. Anyway, you can see some of that yellowy gold, and I hope to hear from you guys in the comments, and it's going to be an exciting month! See you next time! Bye!